I'm using my Bible for those now. anymore. An old man fiddling off of Smith's numbers called the Peacock Rag, Buck. Uh, right. Would you play that for us? Mr. Buck Ryan. His version. <laughs> Got a new album out on Rural Rhythm with 20 numbers on it. I do a lot of flat top guitar picking on it. If you'd like to have it before you leave here, Buck will be glad to pass it on to you. We'd like to call on Bill Harrell to do a, a number for you. This is kind of a new one on the circuit. A number Bill wrote several years ago and he kind of pulled it out of the bonnet here last week. Love is a Stranger, Mr. Bill Harrell. my 
Slow the pace down. We'll do that in a minute. We'd like to slow the pace down if we could. Uh, I think uh, about half of the records we've ever recorded have been hymn records, and uh, we enjoy doing the gospel and sacred numbers. This is an old time number that uh, both would enjoy. We hope you'll also come to the hymn sing tomorrow morning. But this is one that uh, it's entitled Dreaming on a Little Cabin.
and model for that that faded old Bible where the family records used to be. I knew it had to be that same sweet angel mother that so many years ago had failed me. I was dreaming of a little We've had many, many requests for Buck Ryan to do his version of Alice Hawthorne's ever-famous Mockingbird. So, Buck, let's see if we can get the bird whistles together, okay? Say Buck's got the bird, wouldn't you? <laughs> got it and gone with it. Our time, what's that? Under the double eagle, and our time is going to be about over with here, I guess. And then we're rushing a little bit. Under the double eagle, and we'll bow out for tonight. I'd like to tell you we've got uh, the last two albums that Red Smiley and Bill and myself recorded together. And once again, I'd like to say thanks for making for all you wonderful people that have come out and. Uh, in my estimation, in respect to Red Smiley, one of the greatest guys that ever graced the state. We really, really thank you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. And we'll do the best we can without him. As long as you folks are behind us, we'll still kind of try to stay in front of you as long as you want it. Thank you very kindly. We'd like to have the last two albums that Red and myself recorded. We've got some of them. They're four dollars each, and Buck Ryan has a good album if you like fiddle music and flat top guitar picking 
Be sure and stay kissing home with you. And we'll bid you good night with Under the Double Eagle March. Right, Bill? All
Buck Ryan, and thank you, Arthur Mary. Appreciate that very much. Special request to do a, a banjo instrumental that you recorded on King along with Red Smiley. And I think you really take a blues number and make some good bluegrass out of it. Who are you? Oh, there you are. I thought you was way back there. The Limehouse Blues. <laughs> very much. We had several folks request that number there, and we're trying to uh, make our program up from request. We had a request for Tally Ho and Home Sweet Home, and we'll try to get around to these numbers if uh, time permits us. Dipped in the sugar bowl, we got to do that one in a little bit. Let's do Tally Ho. I'll uh, have to read your mind, all right? You're going to read my mind? I hope. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Are you ready? I hope.
So far, so good. Now, snakes, well, snakes can be almost any color. I'm starting out with green on this, but I think I'll make sort of a, a snaky 
pattern. I've seen some snakes that have a stripes and other snakes have almost things like spots. Some are just sort of curly looking patterns. Oh, I can just do that and that. There, well, we'll call that the snake. Now, I wonder if Karen... Karen, have you found that elastic yet? Yeah, I think this is it. Isn't this what you were talking about? Oh, good about? for you. Yep, yeah, that was it. Okay. It's pretty hard to find things in those drawers there. Oh, there's your snake mask. Oh. You want to hold it up to yourself, and can you see all right? Well, this is good. Okay, now, if you just hold it like that, I'm going to see how much elastic I'm going to need without making it too tight on you. I think that will do it, so I'll cut it here. <laughs> hiss, hiss, hiss. Now, I'll make a couple of holes in it right here and here. And you know something that I haven't done yet? It's, it's very important for a snake. A tongue. Oh, yeah. You know that little fork, fork tongue? tongue? Yeah. So I'll... As soon as I get this tied, we'll make sure that it's going to fit around your head all right. And then I put the tongue in. Did you know that the snake's tongue, it doesn't like our tongue. Uh, it's actually what it smells with. Really? Yep. And when it sticks out that tongue, you know, it just flicks it around and it can tell if there's any food, anything that it wants to eat close by. That's weird. <laughs> so different. <laughs> yeah. All right, try that on. Now, let's see if I have some. Is it okay? Not too tight, I hope. There you go. All right. <laughs> let's see. Can you see? Okay. Here now. the snake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, if you just take that off, and I'll put the okay. tongue in. The tongue is shaped like a Y, the letter Y. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. I see. Like the letter Y, except it goes in upside down, of course. Just do that and a little dab of tape. Ah, oh, I see. I get it. See how this is going to hang down? There. There. That's good. Thank okay. you. Okay. Now we can go over to the tickle trunk, and I'll show you the, the rest of your oh, costume. okay. This way, please. Now, that's the hood part that goes over your head, and the mask goes in front of that. With tongue and all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's about it. There we go. Good, yeah. And then uh, this, uh, that's a tunic that fits over. Those are arm pieces. Okay. And... Uh, Maybe you'd like to check and see if yeah, Casey and Finnegan go, are ready. I'll go get dressed over there. Okay, Okay, bye. stay out there then. Oh, she's going to be a very good snake, isn't she? And I've got to be a spider. This is one of my favorite dress-up costumes. Because it looks so great. All right, spider has eight legs. So I've got three on this side, three on that side, and my two legs there, and that makes eight legs all together. Tie my tie. There. This story is about a, a very clever spider. You've got to pretend that I'm very, very small, because in the story... He is an eensy weensy spider, very, very tiny. And the king tiger and the lion used to make fun of him all the time because he was still teeny, and they thought he couldn't do anything. But it turned out he was very, very clever. Mm -hmm. And he fooled king tiger and lion. And that's where the snake came in, Miss Snake. But you'll see all that because I think we're ready to start the story right now. <laughs> Aha! There you are, Lion.
Lion. I am King Tiger. Does my crown look good? Yes. Well, I have to look good because I am the King Tiger King. King Tiger. I am the strongest and the most wonderful tiger in the whole world. And I bet I'm the only tiger who has a lion for a pet. <laughs> Some people love a puppy or a cat, a bungee or a hamster, and there's nothing wrong with that. Some people even keep a rabbit in the hat, but I've got the dandelion. Some people keep a I guess that's me, the itchy weensy spider. That's right. Poor little itchy weensy thing, little yeah. scary little thing, little no. teeny tiny one. No. <laughs> boo, boo, boo. Oh, oh, you're laughing at me. <laughs> you always do that, King Tiger. You and Lion, you're always teasing me, making fun of me, and I know. You know I'm getting tired of it. I, I wish you wouldn't do it all the time. Oh, you don't like it? Of course I don't like it. Oh, it makes me like feel it. bad. <laughs> Isn't that funny? He doesn't like it. Oh, I wish well, you'd stop it. I'll tell you what I'll do. What? I would stop mm -hmm. if you did something for me. What could I do for you? Well, you could, it's not really for me, but this is sort of a test. If you were to bring me uh, Ms. Snake all wrapped up. Ms. Snake all wrapped up? Then I would stop teasing you. If I bring you Ms. Snake all wrapped up, then you'll stop teasing me. That's what I said. That's what I thought. Yeah. All right, I will bring you Ms. Snake all wrapped up. <laughs> <laughs> You don't think I can do it? No. With a teeny spider like me? Well, no. you just wait and see. <laughs> don't come back without it. Oh, don't you worry. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, me. What did I promise? I told King Tiger that I would bring back Miss Snake all wrapped up, and she's a big, long, wiggly, woggly snake. How am I ever going to do that? Oh, that's so silly of me. I shouldn't have promised. Oh, I've got to think. Oh, oh listen. Ooh, oh, it's a hiss. It must be Miss Snake. I'd better hide. I hear it played nice 
it's, it's just me, the Eensy Weensy and Nancy Spider, Miss Snake. Come out here at once. Yes, sir. How do you do? You won't hurt me, will you? Hello. Why are you uh, hiding behind the rock? Well, I was just uh, hiding there wondering how I could, uh, I mean, not how I could, but if we could, uh, I was wondering how long you were. Yes, you that's You want to it. know how, how long, long I was? Yes. You see, um... Uh, well, King Tiger and I had a little talk about it, and uh, he didn't believe it. I said that you were the longest creature in the world. I am the longest creature in the world. Oh, yes, but see, I'd have to prove it to... Just a minute. See, I'd have to prove it to King Tiger. Now, King Tiger said you probably wouldn't even be as long as this bamboo stick Don't here. be ridiculous. I'm way longer than that bamboo. Are you sure? Well, just turn around here. If you could just hold it there, I could... Well, it's hard to measure. Tell you what, I'm just going to wrap you up with some of my spider web. Just to hold it in place, you understand. Now I'm all wrapped up. Yes, and now... Well, why don't we come over to King Spider, uh, speak King Tiger's place, Miss Spider? Wow! Look, here we are, King Tiger. It looks like Miss Snake all wrapped up. It is. I you... am Miss Snake all wrapped up. You, you did it, Spider. You did it. Mm -hmm. I am the longest creature in the world. Uh, yes, yes, I can see that you are. You're the longest creature in the world, but, uh, but I'm the strongest. <laughs> Here, let me unwind you. There. <laughs> <laughs> and now, you may be the strongest. Miss yeah. Snake is the longest, but mm -hmm. I am the smartest. <laughs> I <laughs> guess <y> that's true. <laughs> and that is the end of our story. <laughs> around anymore. Nope, no more teasing. No, I don't like no teasing anymore. I never tease people because it's not a good thing to do. Yeah, it That's makes them feel right. bad. It's not yeah, nice. it does. It's really awful. I wouldn't do it. Well, I'm glad that you wouldn't. No. I know. Only in won't. a story, just for fun. Mr. Jessup, yeah. thanks again for this mask. It's mm -hmm. the costume. It's oh, really good. Well, I hope yeah. you can think of some more things to add to the costume. Dance. So you're going to be uh, really spectacular, I know. And then we'll all be able to see you. Oh, well... We've had a nice, exciting time this, today, but we've got to be going along. So until next time, bye-bye from... Karen the Snake. <laughs> <laughs> and Casey and Finnegan. Bye-bye. And me. Mr. Dresser. Bye.